Hello friends, welcome back, hearty welcome to you. Let us look at the integral of 1 by 4 cos x plus 3 sin x. Integral of dx by 4 cos x plus 3 sin x. Now whenever we have indefinite integration of functions like a plus r 1 by a plus r minus b cos x, 1 by a plus r minus b sin x or 1 by a cos x plus r minus b sin x, will start with taking tan x by 2 equal to t. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll first consider tan x by 2 equal to t. Let us now differentiate. We will have half secant square x by 2 dx equal to dt. Now from that we can write down dx equal to 2 into dt divided by secant square x by 2. But we know that if tan x by 2 equal to t, then secant square x by 2 will be 1 plus t square. So dx equal to 2 dt divided by 1 plus t square. Also we know that cos x equal to in terms of tan x by 2, 1 minus t square divided by 1 plus t square and sin x equal to 2t divided by 1 plus t square as sin x equal to 2 tan x by 2 divided by 1 plus tan square x by 2. Now once we are done with this, let's go back to the problem and substitute. Transform from dx to dt, we'll have dt. Now dx equal to 2 dt by 1 plus t square. So I will write down that then we will do the substitution part. Now 4 into cos x that is 4 into 1 minus t square divided by 1 plus t square plus 3 into sin x that is 3 into 2t divided by 1 plus t square. Let us simplify that. We will have 2 integral dt divided by we have 1 by 1 plus t square here. When we simplify, we have 4 minus 4 t square plus 6 t divided by 1 plus t square. We can cancel 1 plus t square and 1 plus t square. Then what is left out is 2 divided by, we can take 4 out, we will have dt by 1 minus t square plus 6 by 4 t that is 3 by 2 t. Now we can solve this problem from this step onwards by using splitting the middle term and dividing that into factors or we can also do it by converting that into any one of the standard integral. Now the standard integral we are looking here is integral of 1 by a square minus x square which is equal to 1 by 2a log a plus x divided by a minus x. So let's go ahead and use completing the squares method so that we can find out we can transform the given expression in terms of a square minus x square. So for that what we will do will write down dt divided by 1 minus of t square minus 3 by 2 t. Now you can see that this is like a square minus 2ab. So we need to add our b square that is minus of b square. So we have to add plus b square and we see that b equal to 3 by 4. So we can go ahead and write down 1 by 2 dt divided by 1 plus 9 by 16 minus t square minus 3 by 2 t plus 9 by 16 which is equal to 1 by 2 integral of dt divided by 5 by 4 whole square because 1 plus 9 by 16 is 25 by 16 5 by 4 whole square minus t minus 3 by 4 whole square now we can apply the formula whatever we discussed earlier that is integral of 
d integral of 1 by a square minus x square is 1 by 2a log a plus x by a minus x here a equal to 5 by 4 and x equal to t minus 3 by 4 so our next step will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 a a is 5 by 4 so it will become 4 by 5 I'll just write down the formula here again integral of dx by a square minus x square equal to 1 by 2 a multiply with log of a plus x divided by a minus x so now 1 by 2 a a is 5 by 4 reciprocal will become 4 by 5 then we have log of a plus x that is 5 by 4 plus t minus 3 by 4 divided by 5 by 4 minus t plus 3 by 4 plus c let us simplify that we can cancel 2 and 2 4 with 4 we have 1 by 5 log of 5 by 4 minus 3 by 4 that is 2 by 4 so 1 by 2 plus t divided by 5 by 4 plus 3 by 4 is 2 2 minus t that is equal to 1 by 5 log of 1 plus 2t divided by 2 into 2 minus t now plus c we have now you can see that if you simplify this log of 1 plus 2t minus log 2 minus of log 2 minus t this log 2 will add up to the constant term so we can simplify that and straight we can write it as 1 by 5 log of 2t plus 1 divided by t minus 2 plus c which is equal to 1 by 5 log of 2 tan x by 2 plus 1 divided by tan x by 2 minus 2 plus c so that is our answer now only one point we have to understand is whenever we have problems like this we can solve this in more than one method instead of now writing this as into standard form of integral of 1 by a square minus x square we use splitting the middle terms then we convert them into partial fractions then we find out the a b value then we integrate you may not get exactly the same answer as this we have to understand that now the constant terms whatever we have and the negative ones which are part of this logarithm you can simplify them and add them up to the constant term so final answer will be 1 by 5 log 2 tan x by 2 plus 1 divided by tan x by 2 minus 2 plus c